What's up everybody? Math with Chris. Uh, today we're going to find the factors of the number 84. A little known fact, 84 was my favorite number as a kid. I have no idea why. My parents have no idea why. But uh, fun trivia if you ever want to wow your friends. Uh, what's the first thing we always do when we're looking for the factors of any number? Uh, we always bank the first, the two easiest numbers. That's of course 1 and the number itself, 84. Then we're going to break down 84 into two ways using our factor tree. And think of any two numbers that multiply together to give us 84. Not really an obvious one here. If you are not uh, can't think of one off the top, you can always go with 2. Uh, and uh, what's half of 2? In this case, half of 2 is 42. So 2 is a prime number. We can circle that. 2 is done. Uh, what about 42? We can break down 42 into uh, two numbers that multiply to give us 42. There's a couple options here. Let's go with uh, 6 times 7. All right, let's take a look at the 6. Can 6 be broken down further? Indeed it can. 6 is, of course, 2 times 3. And both 2 and 3 are prime numbers. Circle them. They're done. Uh, what about this 7 over here? 7 is a prime number as well, so circle the 7. He's done as well. And now this, our factor tree is done nice and clean. Any path you take uh, down using the, the branches of the tree ends up in a circled prime number. That means you know you... You're done with the tree. Uh, the prime factors we found were we found a 2, we found a 2, another 2, a 3, and a 7. So let's uh, write those out. Um, 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And that does, in fact, equal 84 if you multiply them together. You can uh, check that for yourself or take my word for it. It is correct, I promise you. So now we're going to bank all the prime factors we found. Well, we found a 2, we found a 3, and we found a 7. And uh, any numbers we hit along the way in our factor tree also get banked. We've had a 42 here, and we also got a 6. So we got to bank both 42 and 6. And the last step is we got to come down here, look at our prime factors, and see if there's any combinations we can multiply these numbers together to give us a new number not in the bank yet. Uh, and there are quite a few actually. 2 times 2 is a nice and easy one. 2 times 2 is of course 4. We don't have a 4 in our bank yet, so let's put one in there. Uh, what about 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. We already got that. What about 3 times 7? 3 times 7 of course is 21. We gotta put 21 in our bank. Uh, what about 2 times 7? We haven't tried that yet. 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is, of course, 14. We don't have that yet, so put a 14 in there. And now we're going to try our three-way combos. Uh, let's. What is 2 times 2 times 3? 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. We're missing a 12. Haven't found that yet, so let's bank a 12. What about 2 times 3 times 7? 2 times 3 times 7 is 20, uh, sorry, 42. We already got 42. Uh, what about 2 times 2 times 7? Got to skip over that 3. 2 times 2 times 7, that is 28. We do not have 28 yet, so bank the 28. And that's every combination there is to try, meaning we have found all our factors, a lot of factors of 84. I told you it was a, a really cool number. 12 factors in all. They are in number uh, in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 12, 14, 21, 28, 42, and 84. That is all of them. Hope you guys are getting really good at the, this by now, but if you need more practice, we have a ton more of these videos for you to, to practice on as much as you'd like. Um, until next time, guys, have a great day.